It shouldn't be much of a surprise to most people to learn that humans are apes. We evolved from this group of animals and share many similarities with other members of it, such as the absence of a tail and the presence of long arms. As well as this, evidence from our genetics and the genetics of other species supports our relationship to them. Therefore, it is clear that humans are a member of the group known as apes. This means that humans are also fish. Many people might find this confusing, perhaps due to how humans look so different to the types of fish that we are familiar with. The term fish is also usually used in a paraphyletic context, meaning that, for the sake of defining what is being studied, the group known as fish usually excludes its tetrapod descendants, which includes us. But there is no reason to say that tetrapods, and therefore humans, are not fish. We evolved from this group, just as we evolved from apes, and we never stopped being fish, despite how different we may seem or how the group may be most commonly defined. There are actually many similarities between humans and fish that are present within us that give away our relationship. For example, before bony fish, there were no animals that possessed a skeleton mainly comprised of bone. Bony fish and all of their descendants possess this trait, unless it has been secondarily lost, showing that we share an important characteristic with fish. As well as this, the embryos of humans at one stage actually possess slits similar to fish gills, and one of these slits develops into a jaw. This is also supportive of the idea that humans are fish. There is even more evidence to support this when you consider how teeth first evolved. The first vertebrates did not have teeth, until they developed from fish scales. Studies of fossils show that the first teeth that fish possessed were actually just modified scales that could be used to grind up food, and this shows that our teeth first originated in fish. It is for these reasons that humans, as well as all other tetrapods, are fish. Fish that have changed drastically in the millions of years since we first left the oceans, but deep down still fish. Although the most common definition of fish may exclude us, this is simply a concept created by humans. It does not change the fact that we never stopped being fish, or reptiles, or mammals. It does not change the fact that we are united with the rest of the animal world.